Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. We are back here and we got a Roland's journal. Okay, so let's open this up. We got first we got this one, a gentle breeze. Posted by the World in Pictures. Here's something I painted on a journey through the rolling hills. I can still feel the gentle breeze on my face and the beauty of the landscape. It was just so peaceful. It's hard to believe that Ding Dong Dell was in the middle of a coop at that time. Looks really nice. That gets a smiley. Gets a like. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful painting! This is a painting? It looks so real. This really is superb. Log number 3, Wyverns. Password protected. The monsters in this world are like nothing I've seen, outside of movies at least. We're talking living skeletons, sentient blobs of goo, you name it. Luckily, most of them aren't too smart, but the Wyverns are different. They speak and sometimes take humans hostage. Yeah. Uh... This way. Ooh, that looks nice. Got another chest. A save point. And I forgot the name in English. What's it called? Is it still a. No, a Higgledy Stone. Okay, not an obelisk. Well, my traveler, show me what you've got. Give me what I like, and I will like you quite a lot. Hey, I know. It's talking about that cream. Isn't it? The lovely simple white stuff. Mm, lovely and smooth it is. Soft sweet dollop of cream used to make cakes. Maybe? Single cream? You can't eat that as a couple, it's single cream. <laughs> well done traveler, this is what I mean. That's the greatest offering that I have ever seen. Got a purple one. The higgledy hidden inside the stone comes flying out. Tove the Tenebros has decided to join you on your adventure. Okay. So, I also got another wand. Uh, a powerless warlock wand. It's just weaker. Let's see, anything else? Yeah, that, but that's not too much. Uh, strange and magical attacks? No. Improves magical defense, boosts dark resistance. Yeah, that's okay. Of course, more of these things. Okay, then let's go and save Shanti. There's nobody here. Yeah, something's not right. Evan! Evan, up there. Wyvern Warlord. And what brings you here? <laughs> We've come to rescue Shanti. <laughs> A pirate girl, hmm? You do not seem like sky pirates to me, pink skin. Too small and succulent. <laughs> Dark Coil Canyon belongs to we Wyverns, yes. You have no business here. Leave this place. Excuse me. We are not leaving without Shanti. Attaboy, Evan. If this wasn't our business before, it sure is now. Yes. You will regret your stubbornness, now suffer. Come on. 
Yes. We did it. Just. Ah, there was no problem. Yeah, and the others seem to have scuttled off too. I suppose they must be keeping Shanti through there. I hope she's okay. Uh, a nix proof light tuning. Wait. How does it look? Is it better? Nope. Greatly boosts resistance to nixing. I don't know what nixing is. Slightly boosts money dropped by foes. Oh, that's... Uh, that's nice, of course. Tani! There she is. Cut her down, would you? Evan's dead. Game's over. Roll the credits! <laughs> he was defeated by, by a... Boy from by a butt What's splash. What's he doing here? Little boy? You can't be much older than me! <laughs> alright, alright. Keep your hair on. Um... Evan. My name is Evan. And I'm Roland. Evan and Roland, eh? Well, thanks for coming to the rescue. I didn't have either of you down as the reckless type, but you must be to have come here. Speaking of which, why didn't that grizzled old coward Batu come and get me himself? We made an agreement. In return for securing your freedom, he promised to grant us safe passage to the King's Cradle. Really? He said that? Ha! I knew it! Yeah, let's just leave her in the in the believing of her dad wanted to rescue her no matter what. I knew he'd take a shine to you. You've got that same twinkle in your eye. I most certainly do not. You most certainly do too. It's like you can both see something. Something no one else can. That's nice. And we're back. Hey everyone, I'm home. She's back. I'm Tani back. Back, you see. So she is. Back safe and sound, boss. <laughs> Oi. You always looks angry. <laughs> You went and got yourself captured, eh, Golly? Yeah. Yes, boss. Sorry, boss. Evan, lad. You were as good as your words, so I shall be as good as mine. You may pass freely through the canyon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chief Batu. One step closer to the King's Cradle, huh? So you really are serious about going, then, to the Cradle? Yes. Well, the quickest way there is to fly, of course. But what are you going all the... What are you going all the way up there for? This one here is all set to hook himself a kingmaker and become a lord of the whole wide world, don't you know? Really? King of the whole wide world, you say? 
Blimey, you have some pretty big ideas for such a pipsqueak. Well, you'll only end up getting lost if you go on your own. Alright, I'm coming with you. You are? And what need have you to be traipsing along to your doom with these sorry swabs, girly? You're the ones who... You're the one who's always telling me to do what I want whenever I want. Well, this is what I want to do right now. And I'm going to do it, so there. Hope you don't mind me tagging along, Evan. Not that you've got much choice. Nice, Shanti is part of the team! I'll be waiting at the takeoff spot down below. Give me a shout when you're ready. Nice, nice, nice. That also means we need to look for some equipment for her. We need a third spear. Of course. Um, okay, she got a good armor, but I want her to have the thing with the money. That's really nice. Okay, yeah, the boots are fine. Um, long range ring, because she has a bow and arrow, so that should be fine. That improves physical defense, magical defense, dark defense, magical defense, yeah, physical defense. Blunder, spark spike. Nice, nice. Okay, so we need... I think we should be able to buy it. Another spear for her, so she also has three weapons. some munchy nuts and humble buttons. <laughs> Come to do some shopping, eh? Yes, uh and it's beer should be it. Okay, and huntsman bow is already better, but it's yeah, fine with the short bow for now. For I'll be seeing you again then. I think we soon enough get a better bow for her. Okay, let's go to the king's cradle. Hiya. Getting to the king's cradle is a pain, but luckily for you, I'm here to give you a lift. All set? Yes. Right, let's get going. Everlad. Everlet, have you a moment for old Bartu before you take off? I couldn't very well deny young Shanti's young Shanti back there in front of everyone. No, listen here. But there's not a soul been to that cradle and made it back unscathed. If she comes home with a much as a scratch, I'll have your hide, understand? Uh. Uh, yes, Chief Bartu. We'll be very careful. Shanti will be safe with us, I promise. Alright, I think we are ready. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, this looks so nice. Oi. The cradle's up there. That sure is a lot of stairs. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Here we are at last. Come on. Oh, new leaf book post. Portrait of a pork chopper from Mad for Monsters. Yeah, feast your eyes on this shot. I took of a fearsome pork chopper. It was no mean feat getting this close. Uh, but it was more than worth it. These beasties ain't deaf. They can use such weapons as they take off their victims. You'll find them in Cloudcoil Canyon, so watch out. Snapping a close-up like this took real guts. Bog choppers are impressive beasts indeed. You have excellent taste for mon in monsters. Okay, and let's go up the stairs. Ah, I'm already tired. Halfway done. We got it. Come on. Ah, <sighs> short break. Stupid stairs. Okay. Cradle of light. Huh. So this is where we get our kingmaker, huh? Hmm. 
Yes, if we can prove ourselves worthy. Then let's go. What's this? Wanderer, seekest thou to prove thyself a king? Talking statues? What next? I do. My name is Evan Pettywisk uh, of the House of Tildrum. I have come to make a pact with one of the great guardians. Very well. Then the trials of knowledge and courage await. Go forth. Leave thy companions behind thee and go forth. The time to prove thy worth has come. Evan Petty, Whisker of the House of Tildrum. Blimey. Blimey. Uh, good luck, Evan. You'll be fine. You can do this. Let's go. Trial of Knowledge should be, if I remember, yeah, a reference to Nino Kuni 1. But where am I? Behold the Trial of Knowledge. This story, like any other, is possessed of a beginning, a middle, and an end. Trace the trail of this tale to pass the trial. Or go back on thyself and fail. Would that be where the story begins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. So... Beginnings. Once upon a time, the world was ruled over by an evil dragon possessed of terrible power. A little boy from a village determined to rid the, rid the world of the dragon's misery and bring happiness back to all set out to defeat the beast. At his touch, the magic wand handed down by the people of his village stirred to life and thus he was granted the power of sorcery. Drowned by the call of the wand, a fairy came to the boy and befriended him. Together, the two of them set out on a great journey to save the world. Okay. So, we gotta get first the boy, then the wand, then the fairy. Got that. I want to get all the blue balls. Oh. Wait. Oh, right. I have to turn the... The fairy. Wait, wait, wait. What was it with the fairy? No! Came to the boy, befriend him. Uh, run by the call of the one. Okay. So what I did was correct. I just forgot something because I have to turn the fairy in this one to the wand. Okay, you've reached the end of the chapter, move on to the next, yes. Together the two of them set out on... Ah, you've chosen the right path and reached the end of the chapter, yes. So away, sixth sensor, leather armor, yes! that's nice. Next story. It looks as if the trail of knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a. Uh, oof, that's a lot. 
Four gatherings. Guided by his friend the fairy, the boy roamed the land and gathered together a band of faithful companions. The first was a kind-hearted harpist, whose magical melodies could soothe even the fiercest soul. The second was a brave pistolier, ever ready to help his friends through any hardship they might face on their quest. The third was a wise wizard who took the boy as his apprentice and taught him all he knew of the ways of magic. His party of heroes thus assembled, the boy found the courage to last at last to face the monsters that troubled the world, and so he and his companions set out to battle them, them wherever they might be found. Okay, so first is the harpist, then the pistolier, then the wizard, then the boy facing a monster. Let's see how this goes. Okay, first the harpist. Then the pistolier. Then the wizard. Okay, let's see how I'm gonna go now. Yeah, okay. Turn to the boy. Go this way to get the the other blue ball. Okay, facing the monster. And that's it. You've reached the end of the chapter. Move on to the next. Yes. Extensor. Relief saw away. Warlock wand. Yes! Nice. And this should be the last one. Yeah, that's a big one. Endings. The evil dragon who ruled over the world could not be defeated until the four towers emitting the evil aura that protected him had been destroyed. The first tower looming in front of him. The wizard laid it low with a mighty spell. The second was closed by the pistolier, who carefully took aim and felt with a single shot. The third was sent toppling when the harpist turned to a, to a soldier and spurred him on with her songs. Okay. Wizard, pistolier, harpist, soldier. The fourth tower, which stood in front of the ferry, was flattened when he ran into it, head first, as fast as he could. His tower is gone, the dragon was vulnerable at last. And the final battle began in earnest. As the fight between them raged, the boy spied his chance when the dragon turned to face him and let loose a legendary spell the legendary spell monster. It struck the dragon who fell down dead. Thus the world was saved and all lived happily ever after. Okay, let me just check again. Wizard, Pistolier, Harpist, Soldier, Fairy. So we start with the wizard. That's pretty simple so far. Okay, now we gotta get going to the Pistolier. And we have to turn him. Okay. Next up is back there. The harp is towards the... The warrior. Um... I think it should be easy to just go like this.
Was it or did I do wrong? Wait, let me just check up. Uh, yeah, I messed up. I think I messed up. Wait, that's a top-down view? Oh, I didn't know that. The way I looked at it, I couldn't get the other blue ball anymore from what I did. So let's do this again. Okay, and I can't get the ball yet. Because I have to go this way now. So we go that way and turn uh, towards the warrior. Okay, destroy the tower. Now we go all the way back here to get this. And now we go back here to get this one. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now the ferry towards the tower. Oh, destroyed. Now we gotta turn the dragon to face the the young boy. And that's it. Nice, we got it. Everything. 100%. Relief Zorway. Sage's Secret. Chemshear. Thy knowledge is proven. Is that how I'm supposed to leave, I wonder? Yeah, that was the challenge of knowledge. Oh, that looks disturbing. Huh? Why is it doing an Ahegao? <laughs> but where am I? It's awfully high up. The trial of courage awaits. Go for. Draw thy sword, vanquish the foe before thee. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that is nice. I can save and end the episode right here. This episode was mainly focusing on the Trial of Knowledge. Next episode we do the Trial of Courage and head back to the Pirate Camp, I think. So, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again next time to a new episode of Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. Goodbye.